people. It's your boy Juan Black. Hey, Sean. And McGee. Young Dad. And we are the nerds in the hood. 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 Episode 85. Damn, I missed. Damn, I missed you know five so, episodes. You know what's so funny about that? <laughs> about this name? Everyone says it's so on brand. It's so on brand? On brand. It's yeah, like it's like, a good name. It's a good, it's a good name. name. It's like, oh, yeah, really talk about nerd. like people hear the name and then they're like they actually see the content. With him. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm really nerds. <laughs> really nerds. Like, like, yeah, I know. That's what we do. We try to do it, it. It's true. It's true. I, I've gotten um, people be like, yo, what's, what was your podcast? And I tell them a little bit. And I'm like, what's it called? I'm like, nerds in the hood. They'd be like, that. Everyone does the same thing. Nerds in the hood. Bridget. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was explaining that to my coworker, and they were they like, "I told her the name, like, oh, well, what are y'all talking about?" And I'm like, "Oh, nerd shit, Marvel, anime, da da da." She's like, "Oh, y'all are nerds," and I'm like, "Yeah, in the hood." Yeah. Like, love- is this your new job? Yeah. Oh, nice, there. nice. How long you been there? Uh, it's going on two. It's gonna be three months in, in October. How many, how many people do you think you told? I told a lot. Well, actually, I got a lot of I got a lineup ready to go. I got a lineup. I got a lineup. I got a lineup coming for our next trivia because they were gonna come to the Pixar one, but you know some er, some circumstances came up. But they're like, "Yo, I want to do." If you, like, if you had to put a number though, like five people, ten people, I'm gonna say between five and ten. I see where this is going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long you worked at your job? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. How many people at your job you just told? My Don't worry man. about that. Yeah. He tells the only group that cannot see the show or come to the show, which is Harambe? The animals. <laughs> Harambe. Yeah, him too. Yo. He tells them. Because they're like, uh, I'd love to join you, sir, but I. I tell the people I can't leave my cage. Who give no fucks and won't watch the show. Now while he's, po- while he's pooping that scoop, I mean scooping that poop, <laughs> scooping that scooping that scooping that poop, scooping poop, while he's pooping, while he's pooping that poop, he be like, yo, let me tell you about last week's episode. Oh yeah, Scoop Possum. Who did Possum? That beat was fire until he started. I know. I was so stressed out. I was like, wait, he really did that on that song. Scooby that beat was fire. But um, anyway, we got some more fire to talk to you about outside of Ant lighting the fire right now. Uh, big things popping. First off, before we even start the show, we want to take time to thank all the people who showed up to Buddha Beer Bar last week um, to do Nerds in the Hood 2 Pixar Trivia Battle. <coughs> they came, they saw one team conquered and two teams came runner up. To the people even at loss, we appreciate y'all for participating, excuse me, and just being a part of it. Um, we'll make sure that next time you come through, we'll have more prizes, more giveaways, stuff like that. But we do appreciate you because we were able to have more fun off of your energy. And we hope that y'all keep that same energy going forward every single time. So, uh, if you guys want to speak on anything before I keep going, or is there anything you guys want to say? Also, thanks to Buddha Beer Bar for letting us hold the event there we will bring up another announcement involving buddha beer bar at the end of this episode but uh Aishan, you got anything you want to say about it um all i gotta say it was a great episode greater than the the last one and to many more yeah this was this is this is the this is the second one they say the third time is the charm so october look out for our third time charm <laughs> 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 but uh nah we Definitely appreciate everyone that's showing us love. All our new fans that are joining the team, that are, you know, that just walking in and participating in the trivia. Like Marvin said, shout out to Buddha uh, Beer Bar for even hosting our events, for allowing us the the stage and the place. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's going great. And if you haven't gone yet, please show up because you're missing out. We got some shows coming. Definitely October is going to be jam-packed. A lot of stuff, but we'll talk about that. Yeah, we got we got to run we got to run for the whole honestly for the whole rest of this year. We go we go ahead and finish this year with a bang. Yeah, with a bang. With a bang. I love it. That's how we need to finish year two of Nerds in the Hood. Well, more finish. Yeah, so more year. Did you so a year ago? I know it's maybe not Dev because he wasn't there in the beginning, which Mm -hmm. sucks. But I mean. Do you? I try. Yeah, no, no. I try. I try. <laughs> if, 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 but for, for Marvin and Marvin and Jorge, holding me back. Do you, do you? Did you see us this far in, in one year, like in a, in a bar and, and throwing a trivia game? Um, no, that that was a yeah, very mean curveball. Yeah, but we're cool with it. But 
You know, it's oh, growing. We're cool with it, meaning they're not that cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are cool. Hey, it, we wasn't, it wasn't our goals when we first started the show, obviously. Now, I'm, now I'm not going to lie either. I'm not going to we lie. Were, we were sketching uh, the beginning. You came and changed the dynamic. We yeah. were going to be just an audio-only podcast. I was sketching. And you're the one that came to us and said, we should record. And then we here we are on YouTube, eighty episodes later. Yeah, you've been taking them to new heights. So we took them to new heights. I'm, 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 I, but not that's me though. Like I was thinking about this the other day. So the the fact is is that they came with an idea for the podcast. The podcast has now created its own trivia game, its own brand, and we have the ability to make merch with it. Like we're very close to like a full. I mean, we are a brand, but we're we're close to being like a a multiple income brand. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like. We have the ability now to stretch. And, like, uh, the reason why I ask that is because, yes, a year ago, if you would have talked to me about this, I had no idea that we would have even created a trivia game and that it would blow up the way that it is now to the point that we have a fan base for just the trivia mm. and we have a space. We have a, we have a venue. Like, a venue is a big deal. One year and we're already in a venue pumping a trivia game that we just created. Mind you, we created this trivia game from the ground. It's not like... You know, we were like, oh, let's bite off of this idea and, and base off of this. Like, our real trivia game without the bar is still something in this accomplishment in its own. Like, we, if someone were to be like, yo, I want to challenge him to a one-on-one trivia, we have the setup for that. Mm-hmm. We already created that. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, so yeah. that, that that's why I asked that. I was like, you know, Nerds in the Hood is really doing things. We doing things. Like, we have we have our own trivia, Nerds in the Hood trivia. Like, it is what it is. This is, this is something that we as a group have created and... Uh, I'm, I felt like, you know, that's a big milestone for one year. So that's why I asked you that. Well, yes. Um, two things to that. One, it, it was a good look for Buddha Beer Bar to collab with us on that because of the fact that, you know, when you go see most trivias, most trivias you see in, you know, uh, downtown in, in the city of Manhattan or, or, or in the Bronx, but in the non-hood areas, basically. And when they do their trivia, their trivia caters to the demographic in front of them. So most of the trivia is stuff like, in season four, Friends, what did Ross say to... And you're like, okay, that's cool, but I don't really know Friends like that. I, I don't know that answer. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so there's certain answers that you might get, and there's certain ones well, that our, you might our, our trivia is based on no demographic. It's based on just having fun. Cause right, right. But it, it, that's what I'm saying. It caters to everybody. Yeah. So that's the good thing. And two, even though he wasn't... Here in the beginning. No, I know. That's why I, was, I wasn't trying to cut him out. I'm just saying. No, I'm not. Actually, this is more of a compliment. We would have never. Still not on the logo. Thought about trying trivia <laughs> if it <laughs> wasn't for Devin. That's a, that's a, yeah, I told you go find your own logo maker. And make I think it I got a, I Go think find I got your own logo maker. I think I got a couple. So yeah. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. That, bring it to the not, table. Bring not, it to the not, table. Not, not, you, you did know? you guys hear what I just said? <laughs> no, nah, nah, we, I got, said, we got lost in the logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You heard it, right? Nah, nah. nah, 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 nah oh, it was like Inception. Right. I said the trivia would have never taken place on our show had it not been for Devin. Remember, Devin was coming at me, talking trash, like, oh, I, I can do a better job than that. So I said, prove it. And then he did. So That's true. If we, if it wasn't for Devin, it would have been still the three of us probably doing something, and maybe we would have made the idea down who, the line. Who made the trivia idea, though? Like, who, I can, that's what I was trying to figure out before. It was me. You, you came up with it? He you said he knows more about you. So then you just like, yo, let's run a trivia? I Yeah. I said, yo, do you want to be on the show? I said, okay, prove you know more about Ant. In anime, and then that's why we did the straight anime one, and then we did, and then we simplified <laughs> it, and then we kept going, and then we got Lewis involved and John from Jujutsu Lounge Podcast, and now we got pretty much the world involved. Well, the city, but yeah, we'll get there. Oh, so no. Global, <laughs> yeah, global soon. So <laughs> Dev still no, has yeah, a part of it spiritually because of his willingness to prove that he knew more than. Don't worry, the trivia gonna the trivia gonna blow up. The podcast, the whole thing's gonna blow up soon, but. Why, look out for that trivia on a streaming network near you. I like that. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah, I, I appreciate the optimism. Yes, he is right, ladies and gentlemen. Please look out for that on a streaming service near you. Um, anyway, so with that being said, once again, thanks to Buddha Beer Bar. Thanks to everybody who came out, the winners and the people who did not win. And the we, people who clicked on this episode are listening right now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, whether you're listening on Spotify or Anchor FM or watching us on YouTube, we appreciate you. Or are you following us and checking out all our random clips or our anime rap intros, which is also popular. 
we have over 80 episodes of our show, but we have 124 rap intros. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody be working hard as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a guy in the back room just like, Type of shit up. Like, shoot, what song was it tonight? Like, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The songs I be hearing, I'm like, yo, he knows about that? I was like, yeah. okay. I'll be a little shocked by some of this person's choices. But I'm like, okay, he, he's he's he, well-versed. He be hitting, he be hitting sometimes. Well was it because I, I, I use the lobby voice? I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying either way. But, you know, you, you got That's me. fair. That's fair. You got, That's me, fair. You got me on a couple. Though. That's fair. So, uh, just a FYI, the person who originally requested that anime wanted us to use uh, Rockstar by Post Malone. No. And he wanted only 21 Savages uh, verse. Verse. Yeah. He said no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on. Rockstar. We don't want to play the person who requested it because we, we still looked out for you. It just it really didn't work with what we were going for. And the song... Uh, Instagram and TikTok were not having it, so we found the lobby voice. Shout out to the lobby voice. So, uh, let's get into what we do best, which is talk. Just, just, just vibe, chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get into it right now. What's the topic of the day? The biggest news of the day right now literally happened just maybe an hour or two before we actually decided to start wow. recording. We just pulled up to the crib. And was like, oh, snap, did you hear the news? So, Ryan Reynolds, the guy who was once Green Lantern, but magically and miraculously found his way to play Deadpool, again, has decided to tell us that for Deadpool 3, when it does hit the theaters, we will, strong chance, at some point in the movie, have the man himself, Hugh Jackman, returning as Wolverine, Bringing Wolverine into the MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe. Woo. That's sick. That is sick. And it's sicker. That is sick. I saw that and I was like, what the fuck? And the caption said, what the fuck? And yep. then <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yo, that's crazy. And it's sicker for us because uh, if you really follow our show and rock with us, uh, many episodes ago, <laughs> we tricked Ed into telling him a big secret uh, spoiler that was in Doctor Strange 2. And it involved Aeson saying to Ant that uh, Hugh Jackman was back in the MCU as Wolverine. And we tricked him, we laughed about it, and months later... Here he is. Here he is. We predicted it. Yes. But Ant, Ant what type of... I what, knew it was going to happen. What type of impact do you think Hugh Jackman is going to play in this in this film? I don't know. I, I really don't know. This is, so, my question is, is this the Deadpool's first like crossover, technically? Is he crossed over with the other ones yet? What do you mean? Like other the, comic other, book franchises? Yeah, other... Like part of the MCU? Yeah, part of oh, the MCU. Oh, no. He yeah, just no, made... he hasn't showed up in anything. No. This is his first MCU. Due to the, the, the licensing and all that. Yeah. Because yeah. so, so before Fox became a part of Disney, it was just him. Yeah, so they're going to so they're gonna have Wolverine. Now, right. the big question also is, is it going to be yellow and blue Wolverine? That's the question we have. We all are they going know. with yellow and blue armor? I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. Though. I highly doubt it. Things are so old, man. And are they the only reason? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to. I was just old about to say. Logan? Are they going with old man Logan, or is this going to be some crazy ass shit where he's young Logan? So that means Deadpool's been around for a minute. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Which would mean that time skip? Yeah. Oh, wait, did a Deadpool refer to Logan in one of his movies? He like, referred to the. Is it, he referred to the, 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 the first class joint, I thought. Yes, he did refer to first class because X-Men and Deadpool were still a part of Fox. Yeah, he walked, he walked, he was fucking with this nigga's chair. Yeah, he was the joint, chair. And he yeah, opened yeah, the door, he, he and they were all standing in, that, in there, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, he closed yeah. the door back. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was like the most they showed. Yeah, there you go. So he, they're, they're, they, they together are in their universe, but they're not in the Marvel. So now... They have free reigns to use them to as much as they want. Who played um, Wolverine in first class? Same guy. Same guy. They did his flash. Never stop being him. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So they, they went to, the they went to like right. another country and they tried to recruit him. He was like, in the yeah, he was like, well, <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, Logan was just there. His like more of like, I guess, an agreement because he didn't really want to do yeah. it like that anymore. But so he had to like, finish Let's it make out. a fire story. And let you go out on a high note, which yeah, like uh, Aeson always says is Marvel's magnum opus. So like Magna Opus, the fuck? <laughs> Magnum Opus. Well, Ex explain, explain what the Magnum Opus is. Yeah, the best, the his best. greatest work. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It got to mean his best. Who created the Magnum Opus? 
I mean, they created is. that so we could make that term. Do you know or not? I have no clue. Okay, that's right. That was crazy. He said, "Wow, that's crazy." No, just sometimes it's his name. It's who made up the philosopher. Sometimes it's okay to you know. But you just you just. Sometimes it's okay to ask those questions. Yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. You, you, you don't know what you, you don't, don't know. Say Aristotle. Randomly, <laughs> Aristotle. Aristotle. Randomly, I probably, probably would know, but not. No, know. no, I, I don't know. But uh, we don't know when the movie's coming out. We just know that it is coming soon. Ryan Reynolds did a nice little funny video so we can laugh. Ryan Reynolds, man, you, you, you having a hell of a year, man. Yeah, you about to have a, another kid. Not a hell of a year. football club. You made a documentary about it. Now oh, this joint. I mean, I feel like he's been I mean, having a hell of a run. Documentary it's not too. bad. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like he's been having a hell of a run last yeah, like yes. eight years, six years. He had a couple movies <laughs> drop on Netflix, no, right. though. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying, true, he's been true. doing good. Like, his no, movies yes. have been hitting. Yeah. What is he? Does he have a phone company? Yeah, Mint Mobile. I think he's either he owns it or, he, or he's like sponsored or something. Like I think that. he owns it. Yeah, he's, he's doing a lot. I saw the football club thing. What was that about? So he, he's like he, a, him and uh, Rob. I'm gonna but, but butcher his name. Yeah, All right, so Rob, him and Rob, his boy, him and Rob, 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 him and Rob from Rob. Uh, Mythic Quest, or is always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, okay, they okay, joined okay. forces and invested in a football club in Wrexham that is like they're doing well, but they're not doing good as they should be, and they were about to go down. Yeah, wow. so yeah, it's the real it version like stop folding. Up. Yeah, so it's the real version. Um, that last more or less, yeah. it is. The Damn. only difference is like these That's guys ain't crazy. coaching. They're just, yeah, they're owning it. They're just owning it. That's crazy because I was gonna wear my new Ted Lasso graphic tee today. You should have. I would if I knew we were going touch even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that that's not, I'm, I did see I did see the commercials for it the him and the football team thing, and I I just didn't really understand what was the what was going behind it. I just thought. He was making a documentary on him following around, uh, you know, an organization that I don't want to say is trash, but an organization that's not doing well <laughs> and is on his way out. So, you know, the the coming back, the, the comeback series, like, yeah, that would be a good reason to make a documentary. So that's what I thought it was. Yeah. I didn't know he went and bought the team, though. Yeah, yeah. That, hey, you got bread. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, soccer team is a great thing to own. Any yeah, sports is, is good to own, but right. a LeBron, soccer team. LeBron owns a fraction of like Liverpool. Right, yeah. That's a big boy yeah, team. Yeah, that's a like big boy <laughs> team. But just to have your name on there. Yeah, like, where Shaquille O'Neal once owned part of the Sacramento Kings, and then, uh, let's just say coincidentally, decided to not reinvest. Uh, me and Dev know why, but <laughs> uh, let's just say, uh, try, try again next year, Kings. Mm-hmm. Try again next year. <laughs> He knew when it was time to take his money and be like, these niggas think it's trash. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, go. No. F- yeah, basketball's been going a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, seen, I seen the Phoenix coach going through some shit. I think I can't. Going through some yeah. shit. Uh, uh, Celtics coach going through some shit. Yeah. That's, 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 that's yeah. a yeah. story. Yeah. That's, 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 we don't know. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. That's what I'm saying. Basketball's going crazy right now. The season's not even over. <laughs> any, any comments about that? No. <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need another Vince McMahon episode. Yo. So, uh, I was going to. I know. I don't, okay. Apparently, though, it's some, I can't understand this. Apparently, <laughs> it's some scandalous shit, though. If from yeah. what I've heard, I've read, read some scandalous shit. We don't know yet, yeah. so we'll wait and find out. But That's it's gonna I, it's gonna drop soon, and I got a feeling it's gonna be something stupid, like yeah. yo, some sick shit. Yeah, yeah. So what Matt Barnes said? Like, yeah, he, he says deeper than that. He's like, like yo, that. he took back his statement. He's like, oh nah, like he's yeah. signed on another level. So yeah, they even got ESPN people beefing, Malika yeah. Andrews, Stephen A. Smith, yeah. slightly beefing, Kendrick Perkins. I'm not saying they beef, I don't know if they are, but the way it looks, yeah, it's, that's it's crazy. But not to digress yeah, too far yeah, from the let's subject. Go back, let's go back. Yeah, so uh, MCU is, uh, I guess they're 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 loading up their artillery because um, they now know that Black Adam is projected to be a box office disaster. Oh. And really? not make as much money. That's yet. what they're saying. Yeah, they're saying that it's not going to meet the no budget of what they made globally. Because they fucking they they can see the pre sales and the pre sales ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. I mean, you got, I feel like you gotta wait until like the day of. I gotta gotta give it that's at least. True. You gotta give you know, it though at least the weekend. Like, at least the weekend. So I feel see. like as an actor, right? When you see an actor make a bunch of movies back to back to back and they're doing pretty decent, one of them got flopped. Somewhere. <laughs> if, they're, if they're saying that, that's that gives me that kind of gives me the type of 
uh, mindset DC is in right now. If they're worried about that, and they're yeah. like, oh, yo, this is going to fuck us, like, they must have been really banking on these, like, upcoming, like, at Black Adam and the oh, other yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So exactly. they were banking, and... Remember, they were banking on Bad Girl until they canceled it. Oh. The Ghost the is back. The Ghost is Folks, back. Folks, he's oh, a part of our show oh, now. God. The Ghost is back. Yo. Y'all know what it is. Anyway, why Ant's talking, I mean, why Ant's uh, fixing the technical difficulties, let's talk a little bit more. So, they already know with Batgirl when they canceled it, they already know with uh, uh, The Flash, with Ezra Miller's trouble, Ezra Miller's troubles. Um, so now what you got left is, you know, Black Adam, Blue Beetle, whenever they do get around to making The Flash, and Aquaman too. Blue Beetle, every time I hear that one. I just want to know what they're trying to fucking do. Like, cause That's a, I feel like they're reaching with that Blue Beetle, but it's a good it option. Good. It's good. No, it it's a good, good option. He was the dopest character in fucking Teen Titans. But they yeah, are reaching. We'll see where he goes from there. Yeah. I want to know if this Black Adam shit's gonna be a flop now, though. I feel it's, if it's trash. Oh, man, I feel like Black <laughs> she Adam. Got the though, Rock. Man. Like, the Rock should be able to deliver for you, but I mean, he's gonna deliver. <laughs> he's gonna deliver. Is that? How's the quality of the movie, though? That's the <laughs> like, well, that's the question we got to ask ourselves. Is it, is it going to be? And we also got to remember, we're now in the world where movies are coming to streaming services a lot faster than the days of cable. Facts. Because uh, we could laugh, but we'll let you know, folks. One of the things you didn't see, if you go on our Instagram, we did a video showing our trials and tribulations of going to see Dragon Ball Super. Mm-hmm. When we did get to the second movie theater that we ended up going to, we uh, decided to do what every good person in the hood does after a nice, fun time at the movies is hop and see another movie. And we saw DC's League of Super Pets starting to rock because it was the only one that was so like the only last, one that was playing something. That's not fifteen. After minutes. walking into two states, yeah. two theaters, it was the only one that was running a movie. <laughs> we were like, "All right, this will do." And we then we, walked around the house. It, it wasn't horrible. Ooh. We're also watching the Yankees game to try to see if Aaron Judge is going to hit the the home uh, the home run record. So we're doing a lot. We're doing a lot today. We're doing a lot. So, no, but yeah, sorry about that. You but yeah, we saw DC's League of Super Pets. It wasn't horrible, but I also want you to know, on HBO Max right now is DC's League of Super Pets. The movie came out in the summer, and it's already on HBO Max as of earlier in September. So the same might happen with Black Adam. And other movies that come out. The Batman came out, uh, I believe, what was it? Late February or March or something like right, that? Yeah, yeah. 45 days later, it was on HBO Max. Damn, for real? Yes. Mm-hmm. Damn, I didn't rewatch A lot of these man. movies What's are doing that now. Thor Love and Thunder came out in July, I think, or June or July. We 45 made, days we later. We did a meme about this. We did make <laughs> a meme about this with Devin sitting up looking mad. And, and that's what happened. Doctor Strange came out 45 days later. Thor comes out 35, 45 days later. A yeah. lot of these movies are coming out faster on streaming services than they did when they were on cable. And, and shoo, forget it. Peacock is the truest gangsters because Peacock's like, 45 days later, we'll release that shit today. Why well, go to the theater? It's out now. It's on, come, come to Peacock, bro. It's on here now. Yeah. They've already done it with several of their movies. Yeah, it's true. So, it's it's fucking it's fucking that's the fucking yeah. So it's like, why bother going to movies? Why bother going to movies? Move, the movies now is more of a, uh, you go for the experience and the luxury. Before it was like, you went to the movies to watch the movie. Oh, yeah. Now I mean, there's a like, lot of people I still love going, going oh, to I'm, the movies. And I'm one of them. Nigga, me. I go, like, I'll watch a movie any day. I pretty much go to the movies. But then it's like, it helps, though, for those movies that you, you see on and, like, I don't know if that's going to be good. I don't know if I want to go to the movies and see that, like, type of movie. So, but you'll catch it on the streaming service later. So, mm-hmm. I guess, like, it works out in that sense, but it's like, damn, you got all these five movies coming out, and yeah. then not even a month later, boom. But some of, them, some of them take long to come to the streaming service. Like, like some of ones. Bullet yeah, Train. Sure. Not everyone, but Bullet yeah. Train hasn't come to, I think, a streaming service yet. Anyway. But I know, but I saw, I saw that at the movie theater. I know, I know. And everybody, I, I actually, I personally didn't think that movie was that great. It was good, but it was it was long. Uh, everyone else that I, I seem to talk to, they they loved it. They thought it was a great movie. I'm like, really great, great movie. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, hey, nobody check it out. Yeah, and it was crazy because the, all the promotion was like, it looks pretty good. Bad Bunny's in, all these other people, and then mm-hmm. it came out, and people were like, man, eh, you you be I, you be I. So, um, so are you going to see Black Adam in the movie theater, or are you streaming it? That's the, That's question. the question. 
I don't this, know if I don't know if I have an For the sake of the nerds in the hood, I want us to see it and be ahead of the, the curve so we can talk about it. But you still got that Adam's return? That <laughs> it, we talked about this. It's going to One Piece. <laughs> Film red. Why does it have to go to One Piece? Shit. I mean, the man went to a college to promote his film, bro. Yeah, we but what if we go? It. What if we go? What if? Okay. What, if we, <laughs> what if we go to One Piece, right? What what fucking do, nigga. If we go to One Piece and, and, and Black and, Adam's there, we can go see. No, him. we go to One Piece, right? And okay. we go. We use the free tickets for that, right? Okay. Right, and then we go to Black Adam. We pay it, and Black Adam's trash. We go back to One Piece. <laughs> we, should just, we should just use the free tickets from Black. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nah. he's not wrong. We <laughs> could just do that. Because if it's trash, we'll be like, all right, at least we got this store credit. You know what? Uh, yeah, folks. Right, I know One Piece has a decent chance of being good. Yeah. <laughs> and that way, if you don't want to go, we use the store credit for something uh, wiser. Nah. Okay, we're going to see Black Adam for free, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so we are going to the We are going to movies now. Nah. There we go. But, yo, I'm not going to lie, though. I, I, did, I think I've said it. Black Adam, the trailer looks pretty good. But then at the same time, it doesn't. Like, I think it's going to be good because I'm giving Dwayne Johnson the chance. Yeah. And because the, the costume looks pretty gangster. Like, mm. you know, Black Adam, the comic book, is a dope. It's supposed to be very dope. Like, mm. he's a dope character. Um, but then the trailer makes me feel like I'm watching Scorpion King with powers. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, he says Scorpion King with powers. Oh. He's not wrong, though. <laughs> I see it. It's all, I see it's all it. in Egypt. You know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you want it. That's the, that's the story. You just don't got a sword. Yeah. Hawkman and, and, and I guess and it's, just a, it's just a correlation. No, no, the if, correlation I see, I, if I see one scorpion roll by. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an Easter egg. That's like a saying yeah, homage yeah, exactly. to, the, to the Rock's to fucking movies. Or well, he got the bracelet. If he got the scorpion bracelet on, okay. or if he just goes yeah, up yeah, and, yeah. and sla- uh, slaps a medja or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh, Speaking of, uh, uh, he walks into the tomb of the stork- scorpion king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scorpion king, bro. Yo, this looks weird. Right. Oh, it's he looks at his as a sculptor, and it's him. Yeah. Look, yeah. 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 Speaking of uh, proje- projections, uh, it's not saying they're projected in the box office, but we all know. One of the top movies a few years ago was Black Panther, to to the joy of many sitting here, um, three out of four of us at least. But we do know that Black Panther 2 is now scheduled to be the longest running film of Phase 4 of the MCU. The longest running film of Phase 4, which is projected to clock in at 100 and 61 minutes. I'm I'm assuming that we're including the credits in this. I'm not seeing mid credit scenes. Wait, it's it's told you how many minutes? <laughs> how many minutes? Yeah, that's serious. 161 minutes. That's how much. Oh, just hold on. I'm not seeing that, bro. Which will make it the longest. Okay. Right here, see, 161 okay. minutes. How thirsty what's people the, are. What's under it? Oh no, that's the that's the longest. The second longest Love is the no, no. The second longest is. Eternals, Eternals at 156 minutes. Yeah, so by five shit, minutes, <laughs> they beat Eternals by five minutes. And Eternals dragged. So and Eternals did drag, which means which means that I'm not seeing this, this movie in the drag. movie theater. It's gonna drag. Yo, so I, they probably have yo, so to for, like, 45 days. You say right? 45 days after the release, pretty much. Right. Yeah, usually. Right, so man. we're looking at two, 45 days. Of we're gonna go see Black Panther in theaters. What I'm so 180. Yes, we are. First of all, time. Hold on. Yeah, what's wrong with this guy? But he, how, why are we not seeing see Black Panther? No, that's guys, like that's you a guys most, go see it. That's a, an anticipated movie, bro. Yeah. What, the, what are you talking about? I know, but we're honoring Chadwick Boseman. Yo, can no, I, we gotta see what they do. If I have to sit down that long, I want to see that for free. And if I said, if, I, if I have to sit down that long, bro. <laughs> Come okay. on, man. Okay. Come on, man. So, yo, they they really they really like they Black really, they really like, been stretching it lately. This this there's a category on Netflix called ninety minute movies, and I be watching a lot of those, and I'm starting to realize that they be really dragging movies nowadays, like. <laughs> Dragging it. You just figured it out. <laughs> no, I knew, I knew, I knew movies were long, <laughs> but they, be, they, they just want to throw so much graphics in there. And they like, yo, we get, we gotta throw this fire fight scene. Cars gotta blow up. Like, but the, you know, the story is about a lady. You like, <laughs> <laughs> you like that guitar, right? Huh? You like that guitar, right? The first one. 
I mean, who didn't like Avatar? It was it was like fucking ahead of his time. That right? shit dragged. <laughs> yeah, it did drag. I mean, it did. It, it did dragged drag. so much they re-released it. Did it did drag. It drag. I, you don't know I know Avatar drag because when it when I got when, when it Avatar got, had a good story though, so the the drag wasn't. Now hold the on, drag me, wasn't great. You know the movie's long when you when you got it on DVD and you would fall asleep halfway through the movie <laughs> and then watch the other half tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, don't watch movies like that. Like, if it's a movie I've seen, yeah, I'll watch it and then like, boom. But a movie that I need to watch, like, I ain't going to bed. Nigga, one time I rewatched the New Justice League, the, the, the Snyderverse. Snyder 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 yeah. I said, yo, yo, I watched that shit, I said, yo. That's what one was movie. I doing? What was I, watched, I thinking, course. bro? Mm-hmm. What was I thinking? Why did I watch this? Well, I remember I sat down the whole way. It's a mini series. Watch it again. Yeah, yeah I don't know when I rewatched it. When I rewatched it <laughs> at my crib, I was like, after I was done watching it, I was like, even midway through, I was like, why did I even put this on, bro? <laughs> I'm like, I'm in here now, like. <laughs> I can't leave now. I can't leave now. <laughs> I was like, I'm boxed in. <laughs> boxed in for four hours. <laughs> what did I do? I was a boxed in. <laughs> like, get to the good part already. Get to the good part. God. Like, I did. It's a terrible choice. It's a terrible choice. I said that was a terrible choice. I, I, um, well, fun fact also for you people that were counting uh, Avatar was re released in theaters. Yes, it was. And because of the ticket sales of its re-release, it is now once again taking this throne back as the highest grossing Damn, film. Right. Wait, they re-released the old yeah, they one? Dropped it yeah, the they re-released again. the first so, one. To get them hyped for part two? Yep. Probably, yep. Oh, you know, it, it came out years ago, so you forgot. Yeah. And it comes out in like the next few months. And then they re-released yeah. it to remind you. And also to to be smart, because they were like, Endgame busted our ass. Wait, so, didn't, didn't um, No Way Home do that? Didn't they re-release it? Yeah, they did, and I think yeah. they added extra scenes or something like that. And it still beat that. Oh yeah, and No Way Home didn't make enough money to be on the highest grossing. Yeah, it's it made was, highest grossing of the year, but not highest grossing of all time. Oh, I thought it was an all time. No, 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 okay. Yo, that's crazy, yo. But the fact <laughs> is, is that Avatar two. If you guys want to get your fucking brains blown out by CGI, <laughs> this <laughs> this was gonna go. You thought the first one was bad? The second one will go crazy. Yeah, crazy bad. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think it's going to be crazy bad. Avatar had a long enough break. It's like a video game. Like Think of it like the Kingdom Hearts effect. It depends on what the fuck they're about to do. <laughs> what is this Kingdom Hearts That's how I was like, that's how I looked at him. I looked at him. I was like, yeah, oh, what he's talking about? I turned back to my phone. I don't know what that is. Nah, because hold the hold first hold one came out, and then bad years later, the second one came out. No, no, no. no, no, no the third no. one. They the, the between third. the second and the third. The third. They made different. Oh, they just made. Wow. They just kept re-releasing the first two with different side yeah. chapters and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then the third one came out, and people were like... Yeah. yeah, that's what we're not at three. We're not at three. We have two. Oh, Avatar? Yeah, we'll yeah. be at three eventually. That's what I'm saying. It, it, took, a, like, it took a break and we have the second one. Ten years? No, no, right? The f- I so maybe, maybe we got the Marvel Capcom effect. This might be the last one. Mm-hmm. Bro, I remember when, self, when smartphones <laughs> first started coming Marvel up in Capcom the world effect, right? and Galaxy was just making like the S fiber and all this stuff. And one of the the perks of getting that phone was when you got the phone, Avatar came pre-included. In, it was already installed? Yeah, it was already it was. installed. So you couldn't even delete it. Yeah. The movie itself came preloaded into your, your file app. And that shit took a wild space. So even if you didn't even if you like the movie, <laughs> you're like, what that, the fuck? So that's, that's, back, the, that's back when they that, did it. They did it with Inception. And people were like, oh, work? Uh, they did it with Avatar. And people was like, Tch. That's when they used to put the, you know, they took, they, everyone got, everyone got, that, you know, everyone got that YouTube, YouTube album, you know, yeah, like, I remember that, that, that shit blow my, and I can't delete this it, shit, bro, it. that shit like, come up when I'm on, on yeah, random, I wanna know how much, and that shit come up, I'm like, yo, I want this YouTube shit in here, I wanna know how, I wanna know how much YouTube got for that content, yo, I wanna know, yeah, that's always, like, yo, you get it, you get it, you get five cents for every phone that sold. <laughs> Y'all about to get bread, boy. Y'all got this. Yeah, yeah, all this. All of a sudden, they was like, yo, we got to take y'all off. For what? Yo, we're getting a lot of complaints, bro. Y'all taking up a lot of space for like, music, this boy. Off, yo. Take yo, this YouTube bro. off, my boy. Yo. Y'all got to go. Now, now they on Apple Apple Music, though. Apple Music got them. They, they Like, if you, you first buy your iPhones, you didn't notice? Like, if you go to Apple Music for the first time and you try to play, 
you two always comes up to play. Like, it always just plays. Bitch, <laughs> 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 you put on your Apple too. I deleted, I deleted Apple Music it completely, play actual completely off my phone because of that. <laughs> I don't have that app. I use Spotify. <laughs> like, because I didn't subscribe to them. So because I didn't, YouTube was the only one, YouTube album. So it would just, I plug it into my it's car, that shit will dead ass start playing right away. Like, this song. Why? Why? Every time what you scroll through the words by next week. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to them though, fucking making it on every phone in America. Mama. They made it on every phone everywhere, probably. No, they did. <laughs> and then they got deleted on every phone. What's <laughs> up, this? Oh, what's up, this? They don't listen to nope. <laughs> <laughs> it. It was like, remember that song we made? I ah, don't no, Please don't ask me that. Oh, uh, <laughs> nah, they listen. They old men. Nah, yeah, yeah, they old men. So we got it. We got to switch gears real quick. Get into the world of video games. Uh, first off, before we talk about the biggest video game news, you did bring up Ted Lasso. I forgot to say, you know, shout out to Ted Lasso because not only did it win an Emmy for outstanding comedy series and write, uh, I mean, um, and lead actor, um, but they also the AFC Richmond team are going to be included. In the new FIFA 23 game, the whole team plus Ted Lasso plus Coach Beard, oh, they're right. all going to be in the game. Yes, that kind of makes team. you want to buy that game. That's, that's, that's just for that. That you low see key. Sam, I Roy Kent, I haven't Jamie bought Roy. a FIFA game since like PlayStation 2. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie to to know that I have Ted Lasso on yeah. the team. I was I'm like, buy, I'll buy I buy that. I buy that. I buy that. And honestly, FIFA FIFA used to be my shit in college. I used to play FIFA tough. I fell off like. Once I stopped playing like uh, my PlayStation for a little bit, but um, that was my game in college. We used to go at it in FIFA, me and my boys. It was like two running two K games yeah. like that. So I think I might have to cop that. For sure. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm really excited about that. But the the other reason I brought that up was because I, I'm starting to believe that Ted Lasso has now about to be entering the Kingdom Hearts effect. Wow. Oh, you think about to drop in? They're gonna just keep they. They made you, well, we waited for season two, but that was because of COVID. So we couldn't get mad at that. But then now season three, he even said when he won the award, he was like, well, guys, see you on season three, uh, whenever that's going to drop. And everybody was like, oh, what do you mean whenever, bro? You, you, you don't got a date, my boy? <laughs> Cash was, his crack, Cash nah, started going to the crackhead scratch. Like, It'll probably mate. come out the next year. I uh, say by like next year. So they want you to think. Yeah. You think so? You turn around. Well, they having a lot of issues with this on set. I don't know what the issues fully are because it's not my business fully. But I do know that the main, the boss, uh, Hannah, I don't know her last name. Don't want to butcher it. But the lady that plays that, um, she is taking a break from acting for a little bit just to work on some personal stuff. So we didn't go see much of her. So there's a lot of characters you might not see come third season. However, uh, I just hope they don't go into the Kingdom Hearts effect when we do wait super long. And then when we do get it, we're like, this is not even what I wanted. And then it's just some some other shit. That's possible, but you know. Yeah, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt because yes. they made two great seasons. They did. They so did. I feel like two award winning seasons. Out. Yes. So with that being said, just wanted to throw that out there for anybody who's interested in FIFA or who was like, maybe I might get FIFA. That would sweeten the pot. Um, this is I gotta give EA, EA Sports props for that because when they did when they did NHL, they brought back the old arcade games, the eight the eight bit sixteen bit games. When they did UFC, they gave you like Bruce Lee and Mike Tyson, Brock Lesnar and stuff. And now FIFA, they're doing AFC Richmond. So I hope a certain basketball game takes notice <coughs> at some point. But with that being said, um, we want to talk about the big video game news that was sweeping the country while we were in the heights, giving people trivia and fun and laughs. Somebody went on the internet and said, I'm going to be wilding for respect because I want the nerds in the hood to talk about it. Um, we don't know who that person is, so we can't say the Toronto Wild for Respect report. But we can say they leaked early footage of Grand Theft Auto 6. And outside of some of the rough drafts, we got to say that should look fine. It look good. It look, look good. good. It look good. First it look off, it's based off my favorite Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Mm. That's my favorite one. I don't care what anybody says. Some people say San Andreas is the best one. It is. It's a good mm -hmm. game. But Vice City... Vice City was pretty fun. It's fun Vice, as fuck. Vice yeah, yeah. might have been one of my favorites. There was only one thing wrong with Vice City. That they, that from, from 3 to Vice City. Because it was 3 and then Vice City. Okay. 3, they had this thing called Rampage Mode. And I don't understand why they didn't transfer that shit over to Vice City. I don't understand why they took... I don't understand why they took that away. But other than that, Vice City was the... That shit was gangster, bro. Nigga was mad fly. Had fly whips. Like, 
You know, the storyline was, was on some Tony Montana shit. Like, that shit was gangster. So, that shit definitely was... That already caught my attention. The graphics, though, is top-notch. I, I like it a lot. i seen a couple of scenes. I saw the one that you saw with the girl in the store. And then I saw the highway scene. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I mean... I haven't bought Grand Theft, Auto, Grand Theft Auto in a while, but I do play it every time I like around somebody that has it, and it, it's a dope game. Like it's, it's it's a franchise that honestly, I'm surprised that it's even lasts that long, and that its online play is as big as it as it is. Like if you would have told me Grand Theft Auto was gonna blow up at, like this, and when PlayStation Two and all that stuff was like blowing up, I would have been like, yeah, you crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this game is dope, but eventually all this violence and shit is gonna get dead. And nah, look at that game. They got a whole online where you can be a full drug dealer. And like, yep. Like, yep. And do whatever. And do whatever. And shoot and cops. Yeah, and, and this one's going to be a, a female and it, uh, protagonist. So. And they got modded versions where yep. people people are playing That's as true. cops. That's over true. here on the mic, pulling people over yep. online. Like, yep. niggas is really playing the game like on some VR shit. Like, a. Uh, the, the Oculus without the Oculus like type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm Role playing. Yeah, role play shit. Yeah. yeah. They I really not a lot on um Yeah, Grand Theft Auto is on a whole on nother on. level. Um I feel bad though for whoever I mean whoever leaked is an idiot. But I feel bad for the people Someone who, got fired. Come yeah. on, yeah. Who got fired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but the, honestly it look, it looked good like like I was surprised like some of the footage, even though it was like the first draft like the rough draft. But it might not even look like that now because of, you know, they might want to change shit. But if that's where they were going, they, like, it really looked good. Like, definitely more detailed and certain things, especially how we were talking about how the AI was was reacting. I mean, I was like the, you know, because it's the rough draft. But if they can, like, people actually trying to shoot you, take you out cars and, like, things are like, it looks, it looks real good. Yeah, what I was going to say was that um, I feel bad for the people that didn't have nothing to do with the leak because I was reading an article that says that now, um, Rockstar is going to be less lenient about taking the work home to work on it, and that more they they have their there's their whole strategy of who's playing what is changing. So I was like, damn, yo, one dude leaked it and fucked everybody's shit up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, That's true. Yeah, like yeah. niggas was in the crib playing Grand Theft Auto doing they test runs. Now you're about to be in the office, like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not that one dude leaked it. It's that they got hacked. So they hacked their main HQ. Mm. I thought it was leaked. No, no, no. Because they did. They gave he, my guy the guy who hacked leaked whatever he found. Oh, yeah. I thought you said oh, okay. Okay. And then sure. oh, somebody, ha somebody hacked Rockstar. Yeah, yeah he, they, he broke in, took whatever he wanted. They're doing a federal and, investigation. And yeah. Now yeah. that's why the feds are after him. Now. Yeah. Mm, damn. He fucked. He fucked around. Watching. He fucked around. Oh yeah. He, yo, that goes back to my theory though. Remember what I always say: dudes who do that shit. Who break into things like that when they get caught, right? If he, if they're at a young age, yeah, he's nineteen. Yeah. Oh, so he's Gucci. He's got a job now. Yeah, he got a job. <laughs> he's Gucci, bro. He got a job. He got a job. FBI is like, yo, check this out. So you can go to jail for life. The feds only found him to or yeah. <laughs> or we start training you right now and you get a job. <laughs> you're, pretty, you're pretty good, bro. Like, 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 yo, either join gang right. or like they hit yeah. with, like an espionage fucking thing. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you a spot? Oh, are, you, are you gonna go to jail for life? Your family's never seen you again. You disappear. Yep. Or you can take this job. You disappear for a little while. Yep. You know you gonna do a couple missions yeah. for us. Never talk again. Yeah, and then right. you come back to life. Get yeah. down a few, few months of jail time, and then you work for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not even later. jail time. Be like, <laughs> you know they be doing that shit. Oh yeah, they do that. Bro, shit. definitely do that. I, I always they had recruit that shit because they all on that cybersecurity shit. So they're like, yo, whatever you can do to help us get at them across yeah. the seas, like we'll take you. Bro, take you. I've always said that for that kid that stole. I don't know the name of the cook, but the cook, he's kind of heavy set. He got the spiky white hair. Uh, Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri. <laughs> Guy Fieri, right? I think his name is Yeah. His Lamborghini got stolen for like six months. Mm -hmm. And it was stolen from a Lamborghini dealership. It was just a random Lamborghini. The kid broke in, stole it, right? I used to, I Googled that shit. I was following it for a little while. This is back in the, back in the day. I Googled that shit. I was following it, and it was a 16-year-old kid. He stole this shit, drove around with it. Had it in the storage, was hiding it from his family, everything. Only fucked up because on the last day of high school, he decided, like, like one of the last days of, high, of his high school, mm -hmm. not like his senior year, just like last day of school, he drove that shit to school. So he got caught, right? <laughs> the article just never, like, the article says that he got in trouble, he got caught, whatever. If you go, Google his names and stuff, 
You don't find nothing about this kid, bro. I know the FBI was like, yo, let me talk to you, bro. <laughs> it's like, yo, come here, come here real quick. It's like, what you doing later? <laughs> like, yo, we, we, we rewatched your video. We saw that you broke down the Lamborghini th- dealership security. Fucking wrote down like 007 through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and managed to steal a Lamborghini for six whole months without getting caught, bro. We saw you, bro. <laughs> like, we saw we, you. We need to talk to you, bro. You, you got, you got the dog, we got, and we got a job for you. And if you say no, just understand, <laughs> you're going to jail. That shit is a fact. That is a fact, bro. So, what, what do, you, do you think this will stop the sales of the game when it comes out? Hell no. If no. anything, that shit boosted no. it. Do you think was gonna be another X Men Origins Wolverine situation? No, this is a too big of a franchise to fail. Okay, for those of you who don't remember, X Men Origins, uh, their rough draft of the film was leaked, and it showed pretty much everything. It showed people hanging on strings when they were flying in the air. I watched it showed that. green screen. It showed random CGI. Deadpool it, running across yep, the fucking yeah, green flat. Yep. Water. Green platform. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It showed PlayStation 2 like graphics. It just showed a lot of stuff. And me and Aesop, we, we was having a ball. We were laughing every day at it, getting high laughing. And then eventually we saw the final copy and we still couldn't stop laughing. We all we kept thinking about was, yo, he got the strings. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. And a lot of people, I remember I was in the theater and the girl I was dating at the top was like, yo, shut the fuck up. Because that's all I see. Oh, yo, he could have greased me, but people were like, <laughs> so, yo, bro. So, so, so you did go, okay, so that means you did go to get the movie, see the movie in the movie theater. Yeah. And after seeing the leaked version. Yeah, because I wanted to so, see the final so, copy. So you gave him your money. I gave him money. So yeah. the effect is, it, it don't affect shit. <laughs> don't affect shit. <laughs> I, I, and if anything, it made you more intrigued. That's yeah. the, Rockstar, I feel like it's the same thing, bro. I think leaking it and showing how good the graphics are going to be just made everyone more thirsty to be like, yeah, as soon as it comes out, I'm getting it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Definitely buying it. All this controversy. What if What if this was a stage thing? What if they said somebody I, I, leaked it? And I mean, they can games do that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Too. To just build the hype. I mean, I it's not a bad strategy. strategy. It's, it's not. not a bad strategy. Because now you're going to be like, yo, somebody went out of their way to leak this? Yo, it got to be fire. I don't feel that way because... They weren't. He wasn't the only one that they hacked. Hmm. He hacked another studio company too. But I think before he got to leak whatever the other company had, hmm. they got him. Hmm. So he was just on a rampage. I wish he could have found some more games for a son that we don't know. <laughs> Word, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Not just. That would have been that. Why you you fucking leaked a game that we we all knew was coming? Yeah, we knew it was coming. At some leaked point. some shit that that we. A character was like not even fully developed, and we yeah. all like, "Who the fuck is Who's that?" that guy? <laughs> oh, that's Mario. Okay, right, well, let me see more. Nah, like something like that. Nah, I'm talking about like, uh, remember in um, Grandma's Boy, the dragon character? Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like this damn. off the wall character, like oh, okay. a whole new character. Like yo, <laughs> like yo, what's the explanation of this rock star? <laughs> need a, I need a definition. Yeah, understanding. I need to know. I need to I need know. <laughs> And you who, need to tell me something. Who is this? And, who, <laughs> and what game does he belong to? <laughs> <laughs> need the answers. Rockstar, get it together, man. We don't know what's going on, but we just know that. What's um, the last game Rockstar dropped? Red Dead, uh, no. Was it Red Dead Redemption 2? It might have been Red How Dead long? Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, I don't How think How long ago was game. that? It might have been. I think so. Yeah, a few years ago. I think that was 2018, 2019. Damn, or they like slack that. at OD. Remember, no, but they always make games that last like a decade. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five was yeah, rocking yeah. since 2012, 2013, bro. Yeah, no, I mean Grand Theft Auto, like I said, that's a franchise that's not going nowhere. Their fan base is ridiculous. Well, they're doing the same with Red Dead. Yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> it got it was one of the greatest. It's been hailed as one of the greatest games ever, and then they just re-released it with different DLC modes, zombies, all this other stuff. And so the game is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's These new indie games, games just be hitting lately too, like um, Rumbleverse. Uh, fucking, um, you know, Fortnite's always on the top of the list. Somehow it goes away, then comes back. No, because they always add like this is add a different character. Yeah, like, collaboration. You saw Cats got hype. Goku, Naruto. Vegeta, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why people are hyped. Yeah. That, Boma. They got hype over Naruto, and then when I went to go play, this nigga shooting a gun. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> Go, Goku and Vegeta too. They were shooting guns. Yeah, they, 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 just been like, they don't do that build shit no more, right? Like, nah, they, they took that know. away. They, nah, took, they that took that away. away bro. I stopped playing Fortnite. They, they took yeah. that away, which yeah. is crazy <laughs> because now it's just a fucking shooter. It's a shooting game. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Every time I put put on Fortnite, I win a game, and I don't even <laughs> know why. I don't even play the game that often, but it's so fucking easy. I'm like, yo, I don't that building shit was too much for me. I was like, nah, I can't do split game. Split game, yo, I was. The yeah. hype was real. The hype was so real for that, and mm, then it just fell off. Like, I don't hear nothing about it. I heard. I fucking, um, you know what the movement is right now, though. The new Modern Warfare 2 beta. Oh, the beta, yeah, um, yeah. And that, that's what, that. I just see everyone playing that yeah. heavy, <laughs> heavy, heavy yeah, game. All my friends are talking about it, yeah. Heavy yeah. gaming on that. i seen some bits of it. It looks good, though. It looks, it looks tight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does look good. The, the, it looks very modern <laughs> and up to date, but um, I don't know. There's, there is some. I haven't played the game yet, so I can't personally say. I just watch a lot of streaming of it, and I just feel like I'm like, yo, something about this game I know I'm not going to like. I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, but I just watch the people play it. I'm just like, why, why do they move like that? But um, I'm just like, I don't know. But Colt, you know, I, I still play the. Um, I still play the Black Ops, bro. I'm still on my Black Ops shit. That shit is, that shit is still busting out here. Vanguard, they tried. <laughs> <laughs> People playing Vanguard, but I swear, when I go on Black Ops, everybody playing that shit. Everybody being there. Like, yo. I'm like, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what, what becomes of the final copy of that when it does hit uh, yeah, shelves. You know, isn't it? Call of Duty never fails for the most part. It just be... It's always gonna have that audience. Yeah, it's it's always gonna be there. Yeah, they, they they just have they just have their groups. They have the old school group that gets the vanguard. Then they have the modern dudes, and then they have the dudes that want to play play all around mix. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit. And I love the way that they finally set it up where you can. They're like, they're all right there. It's all you can just pick any other platform. It's like a nice setup. So hmm. if you own all of them, it's like literally one screen. So okay, well, that's just there. Speaking of never failing, what? Before we move on, I just, I just want to add a quick side note because there's an unsung hero that has been resurging, and that is Cyberpunk. Oh, I, thanks to the new anime, Cyberpunk 2077 is the number one most played game on Steam. Ooh. But is it online yet? <laughs> well, it, I don't think that they'll ever add that function to the game. <laughs> That that part was too. It was too. It was too ambitious. So. Yeah. He's like, he's like, that's not for me. Then. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want. I don't. I'm past the time of playing story mode only. Maybe in a sequel they'll add it, but for now, I don't know. Cyberpunk. But is the anime good to you? Oh, that was a phenomenal. Where where's what? the anime? Where's it streamed at? He likes it is on <laughs> Netflix. It's streamed on Netflix. Yep. So what's it called? Uh, Cyberpunk the anime. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Edge Runners. Edge Runners. You. You, I'm about to go watch it. Are you Night. telling me that you like a studio trigger anime? Sadly. Wow. I have to say yes. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Wow. Well, he sounds very adamant too. Like he's, he's likes not, right, right, not right, good right, on that right, animation. Right, 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 right. No, I'm not trying to believe you. I'm not saying that. 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 <laughs> uh, what you say? I did like Darling in the Franks. Oh, that, just, was, that was Studio Trigger? It okay. just didn't end well. Okay. And before Studio Trigger, you know, there was, you know, the controversial Gurren Lagann. Even though they weren't Studio Trigger at the time. Okay. That was still their project. And you didn't like Kill a Kill. Oh, yeah. Kill a Kill was terrible. Oh. But <laughs> <laughs> Kill a Kill was terrible. I can never truly hate Studio Trigger because... They are the, how do I put it, the bastard sons of what gave us Evangelon. Oh. So. Okay. How, is, how is that? How is that? Because the studio that made Evangelon is called Gainax. Mm. And then when they when Gainax basically disbanded, all their workers became Studio Trigger. Oh, okay. Like they okay. took the same people they had and they made another studio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So. Okay, okay. I can't truly hate what they make because you know they're the f the continuation. Mm, I, I, I might have to watch them though because if this is a studio film that he likes, 
It's gonna be good. It's all right. Yeah. Nah, it's probably good. How many episodes? Right. How many episodes? I mean, I episodes like eight to ten. But they do good work from time to time. Yeah, I think it's like eight to ten episodes. I think, I think it's ten episodes. Yeah. I can't remember. I'm, I'm on episode three or four. It's not bad. It's not bad. But you didn't fuck with that Tekken shit, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Oh, oh, he wasn't here for that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 you missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard y'all talking out loud. Yeah, yeah, that that Tekken shit was, was trash. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. That Tekken shit was trash. I did ask told somebody if you really want to watch it, you can go to the last three episodes and it kind of gives you a replay of what was the other episodes. That's what we did. <laughs> Pretty much what we did. We were like, yep, good enough. <laughs> um, good enough. Yeah, okay. Well, if that's how you feel, a song, we appreciate that. All right, Cyberpunk. Cyber- Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Edge, Edge Runners. End of the story. Edge. Play the game if you haven't played it. Oh. All right, I'm going to check it out. You beat it? I platinum it. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, bro. Bro, I wish I had some. Yo, what's your PlayStation trophy count? I wish I was able to watch it somewhere. No, you can look it up on your phone. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. stop playing. Sir, <laughs> Let's see what's up today. He planned it. I wish I could watch it for somewhere. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, that was before. That was before. That was before the time. But you right. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait, wait. You right. You right. You right, though. But you right, though. <laughs> yeah, right, uh, though. Wait, are you going to show him that? No, 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 no. We want to see that my, kind of, my trophy yeah, count. Yeah, all you got to go is your PS, PlayStation account. No, I got to sign back in. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that after the show. I can show after the show. No, no, no. You don't got the answers. Oh, okay. That's okay. for the people, yeah. That's for the after people. the show. For now, nah, what yeah. we're going to do all is... All the platinums you got, you got to be in the 20,000s. 30, 40,000. Allegedly. It's rarely a platinum again. What? You put you patent me. I got a ring. Back Cyberpunk. It's like, and... One of the Resident Evil. And what was the one of the Resident Evil? One of the Resident Evil. Bloodborne. Blood, you see, like we're going down. You, you played you play those the hardest games. games. Yeah, that's that's bro. The most uh, difficult games, bro. Yeah. And then this nigga, you know, doesn't want to show where niggas can watch it. Yep, exactly. Don't worry. We're, 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 we'll find a new home soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was the that was. <laughs> If that was a deflect out of the way, <laughs> it's not my fault. Blame Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. I'm deflecting and leaving the room oh, at the same shit. time. Yeah, that shit was coming. Oh, so, yo, where's the, where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I dodged the spirit bomb. Ah. So, for you, we're going to deflect <laughs> to our tried and true segment known as Facts or Fuck out of here. Does he like this one? <laughs> he does not like this one. Yes, no, he no, does. No, no, no. Facts are fucked out here. I'm cool with it. It's oh, like, yo, what's that? Like, you know, Wallace. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one too. Wallace is like, damn, I missed two episodes. Y'all niggas forgot this shit. No, we did it without you. I know, but I'm just saying they didn't forgot what I'd be fucking with. I know. Like, oh, yo, it's been so long. Oh, my God. It's been so long. Oh, my God. You can buy my own. Nah. Somebody that. So we talking about this shit. He said you can play my own. Yeah, yeah, this I, again? I, oh man. I, I ain't gonna hold you, man. Uh wildin' for respect is be wildin' for respect. <laughs> we told we had a good one when you wasn't here. We talk about how I don't need to argue. <laughs> See? <laughs> I don't need to argue. How they talk. I don't need to know about that. I don't need to know about that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here we go. So we I have I go check out the episode. I go check we have, yeah, as should you rest the rest of you. We have a we have a good one. This time, I'm very excited about this one. We've been holding off on this one. I wanted to wait till the whole team was together, and this one, uh, to me, might be one of our best facts or fuck out of here in a while. Um, and it's going to be our longest list that we've ever found. See, God damn, man. see, we have to do the whole list. Yeah, though. Yeah, look at him, y'all. Look at him. Can we divide this shit? God, yeah, the whole yeah. list. How, is, how many people? How many people is it? Okay, so I mean, nah, I love the list, bro. Okay, let's let give me a minute, bro. Why are you stumbling back? Because you, you, I'm trying to say he it. definitely knows the number. You know, what I'm top one hundred. Huh? No, <laughs> no. So, uh, we found a list by Twitter user at Mister Kindness Seven, and he made Who's his. Who is he? He's a random guy Who's that he? made. Why do I care that he made that? Oh, because he decided to make his own list of the top. 50 worst rappers of all time. Yeah, so we can do 25, 25. <laughs> you re- Come on, man. My bad, I cracked that shit. Dumb loud. Not, bad. No, not that. I'm talking about this. <laughs> bro, you want to do all 50, bro? <laughs> That's a fact. Oh, do, the 20, all 50? Do, do 25 to 1. We're going to sit there here right. and say fact. And just, we're going to do a rap. We'll, all right, all right, all right. It's a compromise. Honorable mentions, those who are later in the list, and then top 25. Okay. Like but the biggest ones that you feel are... You know what? I, no, we'll do what we did when we first started. 
Nerds in the Hood. We'll do, do a ten. Set. We'll do 25 today from 50 to 26, and then we'll do the top 25 next week. All right? 50 to 26? God damn. You just said this idea. All right, fine. I, 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 said, I said, or do the 25 said, to 1. Let's go do 50, Nick. Like, it's He's free, Nick. Okay, fine. I said, no. I said do 25 to 1. It's okay. We'll do 50 right, to 26. All right, go ahead. I want to do this list. I think this no, list is No, it's a good list. Yes. I'm not. I just don't want to do all 50. <laughs> well, we'll we're going to do it in two weeks. You got, you got a good idea. I know. That idea. Alright, it's cool. Oh, we can do five at a time, but <laughs> five a week? Shut up. Yeah. Alright. How about go. how about twenty-five to one now and then the rest later? <laughs> it was pointless after that. So here we go. Let's just get into this. The All top right. fifty to the the five to twenty-five. Yeah, five to twenty-five. Fifty to twenty-six. Here we go. Starting with number fifty, uh NBA Young Boy. As what? What is the list again? The this is the top 50 worst, worst, worst rappers. Rap- Yo, this is the... Who wrote? <laughs> NBA Young Boy, he's not the worst rapper of all time. Well, this would make him the man. worst. This would make him more not as bad as he's the number others. 50. Yeah, that means he's there, but he's not he's as like, bad as... As, the, as number one. Yeah, he, to be in last place in this list is bad, but not horrible. So number one is the worst person. Exactly. Okay, so all right. So maybe, I can I can't right, so, say facts or not because... I don't really listen to his music. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, really I think he's okay, but he's decent. He's not. He's so, that. He's that down south shit. So, but but he has a following that's crazy, and he makes wild bread off of that. But I feel like this is more an opinion. NBA piece. young boy. He, 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 NBA young boy is just not. That's not for me to say he's whack. That's not for me. So let's let's go with fuck he's out. Not, he's not fully whack. Right, but so we can go. He's not great. I know. Yeah. You're not. I don't really listen to his music. So. All right. So next number forty nine. Easy E. Easy Easy E. I'm the, not going to lie. That's a fact. Yeah. What? God rest his soul. Wait, easy. Yeah. Eat, nah, you're bugging, yeah, from, bro. From NWA. Don't nah. The don't. one that was cruising out of wit and my uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't attach me to nothing. These I won't things. say he was trash. And okay, if you compare him to his, he group, should not be trash. He, not should, be, he, he should not be the best in his group. This but, should not be on this list. Is out of but that's out of because here. he knew Fuck in his group that Dre and and Cube were better than him. However. He was like the Diddy of that group. It was like, I didn't need to rhyme. I got the best lyricist. So, yeah, I'm going to say fuck out of here for that one. Because he didn't. He wasn't trying to be the best rhymer or whatever. Yeah, and, he was just like the, the hardest nigga. Yeah, the he was the hardest dude in the squad. He was going through the real shit that they wasn't. So, 48, Playboy Cardi. Yo, P.A., you want to come out here? Oh, silence for this one. They got kind of, kind of it's not that. It's that because I'm like, yo, they, they, so far they've named good rappers. <laughs> I don't want to say facts on that one. Yeah, Playboy Cardi's eye, right, yo. He's, he makes. Uh, it, I'm not fucking with all his music. Yeah, he's trash. He's not not old D trash, but. Eh. Bro, he has a decent follower. And most of his songs kind of deserves to be on the list. <laughs> I don't know if I'd put him not on the list. Fully, but I wouldn't put him on that list because Damn, y'all some of his stuff I do like. I'm trying to say I listen to trash music. Nobody <laughs> right. said that. At this point, send my trash. I'm gonna say fuck out of here. I'm gonna say fuck out of here. Playboy okay. Cardi got a decent enough songs for you to listen to a couple of them. So y'all fuck out of here, fuck out of here. I'm gonna say fuck out of here because I actually do fuck with some Playboy Cardi songs, and you're saying facts. I'll say facts. So here we go, number forty-seven. And he got fired, mom. The leader of the <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what? We don't have to harp on that. Don't yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to harp on that. I'm not even acknowledging. They just come out of nowhere. <laughs> Keep going, next. Number, 40, number forty-seven. The leader of the Wu Tang Clan, the RZA. Bobby what, Digital. Who, can you can you just can what? I'll say for actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was gonna say that too. <laughs> he, yo, did, actually, RZA did you was, never see the no, document? RZA was not the did best you never see the bio time. show that they made? To say yeah. he's a top worst though, so you put him on the worst. Out of his crowd, all the all the That's yeah. not what it's asking you. It's asking you what is the. <laughs> Worst? I don't know. That is exactly how nah, I'm gonna interpret it. Nah, nah, he's, he's the, the worst person. person you're you're man. Man. Yeah, and they're good. No, but have you ever seen the show that they did? The but then I compared him against yeah, his yeah. own people. I know that. Compared, I know that. We're talking about rappers in like the whole list of rappers. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah. No, I got you. But he wasn't a great rapper. He I did not. He was the brains. You the brains of the operation. You automatically have to again. Yeah. Play a pair him against. You see when he did the show, he was talking about I'm the sperm in the thing, and everybody was like, "Yo, what? What? I'm not." 
And it was real because all the hood dudes acted like how we would have acted. Like, I'm gonna say, fuck out of here and move on. What's the next one? Yeah, fuck out of here. Like, I'm just gonna on. say this right. right now. He ruined Afro Samurai. Yo, yo, that's yo, <laughs> wild. That's, what he did? Wild, what he did on Afro <laughs> Samurai so, yeah. is not worth it. Wow, you wild. All right, here we go. Number forty. <laughs> number forty-six. Afro Samurai is iconic. Number no, 40. I'm saying yeah, but he, him being a part of it yeah, ruined it. All right, number forty-six. The leader of the Saint Lunatics, Nelly. They say yeah. Nelly is one of the worst rappers of all time. That's actually fuck out of here. I'm that, gonna say fuck that out is fuck out of here. He made some fire hits. That is fuck out of here. Hey, hate You did Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm like, 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 gonna be tight over here. Yeah. Yeah. My man, ride with me. Country grammar, hot in Yo, here. you better yeah. stop because number yeah. one, he has. Hits on bangers, hits, bro. Tip hit. drill. You're bugging. Look at and Jorge out. saying, uh, it's bugging, bugging. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, you heard him? Yeah. He said, like could, could Nelly freestyle? Oh my, that's, that, nah, nah, nah. Everyone uh, can freestyle. That's, I, that's not the, I that's will, not the, I will say that's that, not the bar. Right, right, let's move on it's to it's the This is a very low bar, though. All right, here we go. We're starting to get somewhere here. Number 45, Iggy Azalea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah, needs yeah, to be she, higher. She needs to be higher. I don't know. Where is she? I don't know who's How is she over Nelly? No, no. She's supposed to be higher than Nelly. Yeah, way higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. That's right. Nelly should right. not be on the list. As it gets closer to the one. Yeah, Nelly, yeah, should, yeah, Nelly we'll shouldn't even be on the list. Yeah, at all. There you go. There you go. Okay, yeah. So, nothing, folks... He should probably be like 51. Look no. up. Look up. He always said how to go. Yo, Jorge is wild. Yeah. Like, he gave the best song. Tim Look up. Be crazy. Look up. The Tim 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 was the best uncut video. I remember Tim Drill. Of all time. Yeah. <laughs> the videos were coming and going. Tim Drill yeah. was always playing. Why do you think they had a verse between Nelly and Ludacris? Because they had two of the best <laughs> BTO cut videos ever made. At the same time. Uh, but anyway, yes, folks, Iggy Azalea deserves to be on this list ever since the infamous shit, uh, Sway in the Morning freestyle, where she went on there, busted the freestyle, and then a guy <laughs> called in to say that shit was trash. I've never seen a person <laughs> call in and go, yo, yo, and he didn't even take his name where he's from. He said, yo, yo, take that shit off. This shit was trash. And she was like, yo, yo, he was like, yo, get off the head. Anyway, all right. Once he started getting better with this list, he took a turn again. Number 45, 44, excuse me. Future. All right. All right. Wow, all right. Wow. All right, all right. Yo, the guy who wrote this yeah, list. I don't want to hear. He, he doesn't listen to music. Like Stop. That. No, no, no. All right, cool. All right. Not let's not let's, not let's move on. Not let's move on. Because we, we got an automatic. Wait a minute. Yeah, I want to know. Who, he, oh. he, 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 no, I'm not. I oh. would say. Number 43. I don't know if you know this guy. Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald. Tom yeah. McDonald. Um, no. All right, we're gonna skip is that, that. Is that? No, that's not. No, nah, I don't know who Tom. Number forty-two, Tony Yayo. Again, uh, we can't be mad at this guy uh, because he got out of jail and got a free job without having to do what most people would do, no which is like Tony Yayo. Yeah. I know, no excuses. No excuse. That's why he only made an album and was like, "I'm good." Tony Yayo deserves to be on the list. <laughs> yeah, he, he don't get an excuse. I'm not rocking either. I'm saying a lot of fuck out here, so. This. Yeah. That's only because I'm G unit. Oh, there, that's so. why. All right, so moving on. Number so 41. Look at you, Lloyd Banks, G unit. I'm biased. No, he's saying he's all G unit. Nah, he's, he's not Tony. Even, he, he, he Lloyd he Banks. He's been gaming Young, young Buck. Yeah, yeah, he was on it. I mean, Young Buck is nice. Young Buck was nice, though. Hold on. Young Buck was nice. Yeah, Young Buck was pretty nice. You see? That's shit. You see? That's shit. I'm not even looking at one. Yo, bro, that man made one album on G unit, and that album was pretty good. Bro. He made it out. He made shit after G Unit, and that shit was yeah, fire. Yeah, that shit was fire, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> my man, my man made a song. If I'm right, he was the one that had the song that had Ti and Ludacris on it, where they both dissed each other on the same track. <laughs> How you do that, <laughs> nigga? One nigga walked in and was like, "Let me hear what y'all got so far." What the fuck, yo, 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 so turn that beat off. I'm about to flame this. <laughs> it was the same track, bro. He, nah, you out. Forty-one, the guy that we all thought was future when he came out, designer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's fact. laughs> That's you know it's true. Yeah. Even though how he is, he had the one hit. He had the one hit. Even though, even though I fuck, honestly, even though I fuck with the song, like pet, like pet, that was my shit. That is my shit. That's my shit. But yeah, that's a fact. That's, that's, that's future. That's a fact. I was like, this future song is fire, and then you found out it was a whole other dude from from New York. That's a fact. And no, but like, he killed it though with that. He did. And oh, I, I so respect his one hit wonders. What so. about what about when he made a song after a cartoon character? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I know." Yo, he sounded. That was my shit. That was my shit. That was my shit. That was my shit. Oh, um, 
Timmy, um, Timmy, 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 uh, now, Timmy Turner was kind of hard, though. Bird, I know. That was my shit. That was going to say that he's working for a bird of a That shit sounded dark. <laughs> it sounded dark, but you was like, nah, I got to raise this shit. This is the best episode fairly all parents up. Nah. Well, I'm, even, though, even though I fuck with those songs, he deserves to be on that. So. All right. So, number 40, Gucci Mane. Nah, oh. you are wild in the dirt. I don't want to hear this. Nah, 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 though. Don't read me the lesson. Come on, we, you we, put we, Gucci yeah. on that list. Nah, you we got, fucking. We got, we got, and Jorge, hey, I don't want to. I'm not even looking at it. So far, I'm not even agreeing with that. Person, I hope you were. This person is country, country music. Oh, he's country bias. music bias. Yeah. Bias, yeah. Yeah. bias. I don't All the country niggas, he does not I don't, off. I don't want you to bring this list. We gotta keep going. You just got me mad. You gotta see how far the rabbit hole is going. I don't know who that person is that made this list. Anybody from down south making music or anyone who got any type of accent is trash. This guy. It's trash. This guy. It's trash. This thing. Speaking of down south, number thirty nine, Peter Pablo. <laughs> he needs to be on that one. <laughs> Freakily. Shut the fuck up. That's Shonda. That's not shit. Yeah, what well, song? That song was fire because of the beat. He only had one song? No, he had two. What was the other one? Uh, North right. Carolina. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's, that's their, their, that's that's their anthem. Fire. That's and their Freak anthem. And Freak Elite was fire North too. North Carolina, hey. that's the niggas. Pity Wilder got some shit, yo. Yeah. Pity Wilder got some shit. He was, he was, he was the wallflower at the party, so he don't, he don't know about certain party tracks. What's up? I'm some performing. I know what happened. I know what happened. I know what happened. What happened? Jorge was at the party wearing headphones. Oh, yeah. That was... Um, that's not even me. Oh, yeah, it was somebody else. Was anyway, somebody. number 38. That was you. That was not me. <laughs> that was, that was you. We'll tell you you don't like any of this we'll music. <laughs> <laughs> number 38. She <laughs> said, you must be deaf, my boy. <laughs> even deaf people was like, nah, that song is fire, bro. You wild. Where? Number 38. I see uh, people feel the vibrations. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's a banger right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not we're not making fun of them. I know, I know, I know. I know just in case. Thirty eight. Shut, shut up. Thirty eight. <laughs> Young Thug. Bro. <laughs> just yo. Young Thug and me. Young Thug and me. I don't want to hear this list. I don't want to hear this list no more. That's all. That's all. That's all. You want to tell me that's fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. You wildin'. Yo. Yo. You about to make me play Young Thug. You about to make me play Nelly out of here. Y'all about to make me play all these songs. Y'all wildin'. Y'all wildin'. Y'all wildin'. Y'all Young Thug can be on the fence, yo. Nah, I'm 50 50. You wildin'. He deserves to be there. He don't got enough fans on me. What? What? Yeah. Oh my God. Are you going to count that Chris Brown collab album? First of all, other, yo, I'm a, I can give you a I list of young no thugs. Wow, nah, so, right so, the no, only no. one I really liked right <laughs> was <laughs> like, Deep in the Night. Wow. <laughs> I do anything for that booty. <laughs> Wow, that bro. was my shit, bro. <laughs> like, Deep in the Night. Wait, you talking about the same young thug that said Andre 3000 did not influence you for Atlanta? <laughs> that was oh, shit. You're right. That's young Thug does a lot of great features. Yeah, he does. Yeah, like when he's featured. Remember when he was featured on all those Chris Brown songs? That whole album that Chris yeah. Brown made that he was <laughs> I'll play, I'll play. Yo, hurry up, next yeah. one. All right, you're right, you're right. All right, this one's a funny one to me. The funniest one. No other artists are tied on this list except for these two. I don't know why, but for number 37 is a tie between Flo Rida and Pitbull. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, this person does not like people with accents. He does not like no, people with hold accents. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Flo Rida one, I understand. I don't. I, I won't fully agree on because yes, he's not the best, but he wasn't horrible. He just rapped really fast. Pitbull, on the other hand, when he did try to do gangster rap because that's who he was at the time. It wasn't that good. And somebody, whoever on his management team said, yo, you need to fuck with this pop music. Yeah, he is, is the smartest person to ever be a manager or whatever he was or she was at the time. Because once my man said, one, two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, that was it. That's it. Dollar <laughs> sign. I mean, his, 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 he has other good shit. He still makes bangers right now. Yeah, he makes, but he makes pop music. Like, yeah. So that's it. Oh, uh, like a rapper, artist? Yeah, I'll yeah, put him okay. there. He's yeah. I'll put him there. Yeah, so they both belong there. I remember... But they don't like people with accents. <laughs> Years um, ago... I haven't uh, heard a person that speaks good English yet. Your cousins, remember when your cousins came? I think from... Was it from Mexico? Mm -hmm. His cousins came from Mexico. We hung out on Memorial Day. And it was these, like, three girls, right? Or, like One of them was your cousin. The other two was her friends. 
And they was like, yo, you got any, uh, I think they asked me for Spanish music. And they were in my car. I was like, damn, I got no Spanish music. Don't tell me you play Pitbull. I, That's exactly so what I Oh, my <laughs> God. The disrespect, I, Mark. I said, yo, this song, <laughs> I said, this is all I got. So I played it, and they sat there, and they were like, they looked, her, his, like, her cousin, his cousin and her friends were like, and I was like, shit, I fucked off. Fuck you did. Up, fuck up. And then they go, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Uno, two. And I was like, oh, shit, played the same two songs. For over an hour. <laughs> and what was the other shit? Forget about your boyfriend and me be in the hotel group. Were, you guys, still... were y'all pre gaming? Yeah, we were already drunk at this time. So maybe that was why. They was probably sitting there like, yo, I don't care who's playing. I'm, I'm already wasting. But you, you kept playing it back to back. They kept saying it's it. only two songs I had, bro. Outside of that, Jay Z. Not as hard. Isn't that bad at this time? We're talking about bad. Yeah, this. Right? Oh, yeah, this was like. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. This was like 08, 09. Oh, this was when you didn't have yeah, smartphones yet. Yeah, it was a while back. It was all I had was an iPod. That's all I had. I played two songs. Two songs for Pitbull. I said, "You used the two most fire songs I heard," and that was only because I was drunk at a party already. So, is he whack? Yes. Are these two great pop musicians? No. Yes. Did Whoa. he save? Did he save your trip? Yes, so maybe he deserves to be a little lower on this list no, only because of that. They were only successful. Doesn't mean that they made him good though. Hey, uh, what, what was it? One of y'all just said about Disney money. Flo Rida did a song for a Disney movie. That's a fact. What song was that? It was a song. It was a song called G Force. <laughs> in a movie called G Force about about Amsterdam Towers. I said a Disney movie. I didn't say which one. <laughs> yeah, a song no one will remember. Uh, oh, except yeah. uh, Tracy you Morgan. right now. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and Tracy Morgan because he was in it. Anyway, number 36. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Number 36. Little Uzi Vert. Uh-oh. I think we finally got one. Did we finally get one? Honestly. Honestly. I like, I like Little Uzi Vert. <laughs> Uh, I like Lil Uzi Vert. I'm torn. I don't really like. I don't like all his songs, but I don't really like. I, there's like a like a handful of songs I say I, I can like listen to and tolerate, mm. but I'm definitely not a fan. Mm. To say he's the on that list, the worst. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's relative to me. <laughs> I would say yes, but other people like die by him, but. Me yeah. personally, as is, I don't really like him. That's not my like. It's not my bag. Not his bag. <laughs> oh, so you you feel the same, or you feel like you actually? No, no. Nah, nah, um. Nah, he's not. He's. <laughs> I'm torn. I'm, it's I'm torn. torn. It's torn. I don't know. He's not. To he, be on that list, I, I do know. like a couple of his songs though. I'm not gonna lie. And every time there is, he makes some uh, like when he drops new songs, I be thinking they're they're gonna be whack, and then it'd be all right. It'd be all right. So. You know, he'd be hit or miss. He's very hit or miss. Okay. So, I don't, I don't know, know if he would be on the list. I don't I'm think. on the fence. All right, let's move on. Number 35, the man who gave us his phone number in the song. Mike Jones. Hell. 281. No. That shit. I guess if you go by all time, then yes, he needs to be on the list somewhere a little he bit. He made bangers. But he said, he made bangers, nigga. Made Mike Jones is that nigga. She made bangers. Fo fo. Nigga, what? Who? My Joe. Who? He should be on the list, but I don't think this high. I think a little lower. He wasn't bad. and He, he wasn't bad. He, he, wasn't bad. He, he made some of himself when everybody Mike doubted Jones. him. So I'll give him they that. They really called okay. his number. Where he, where he Back then was a great song. Where Mike Jones that was, I, 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 Back then, who did, who Now, I, 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 oh, that's oh, what he's at. That's so, shit. number 34, a collective group. I think the first group on this list. The Yin Yang Twins. Oh, wow. They are fucking bugging. <laughs> I'm but you see, now I'm just talking because if we're talking about just yeah. rapping ability, yeah, that's why I think he's talking or about popularity. I don't think he's talking I mean, about the actual popularity. I think yeah, lyrically, I think he's going by lyrically. So if but they still by, made good songs. But then they, oh, they, no, 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 they no, they're, they're, they're popular they're songs. Lyrically, but they're, they're popular no, they are popular songs. They're pop, but I see that's they're not lyrically great. Yeah, they're not lyrically great. Yeah, we have to assume that this man because he didn't really. This nigga listens to Kendrick and fucking. Because he even says. Because <laughs> he, he doesn't. He doesn't even really say what he did. He listens to fucking. It's when he nobody. chose the people he chose. It's a random guy. What's no? What's his? That's why I'm saying. Why, why, I'm the, why am I listening to this uh, person? I don't even know. Because, what's his background? Because it was generating a lot of buzz. So, so that is no way that buzz. You, you know, know why he's generating buzz? Because everyone's disagreeing with him. 
Nigga, he listens to Immortal Technique. I'm telling you, that's what he be listening to. Look, Ying Yang Twins. Exactly. I'm I, I I'm gonna be an old man for a couple of seconds. But Ying Yang Twins was my college. They made some fired. of the best party hits exactly. at the time, and they were really, really dope. Really, really. However, dope. however, on the flip side, they were part of this group of down south artists that was blowing up. When they made one song that was on the radio every day, on the hour, you were like, this song is so good, I gotta hear it at the party. And then one day, you bought the album, and they made sure that the best track, which was the party track, was somewhere buried down below in the album. So you could listen to the rest of the album until you got to that track. And every track before that was just like, me and my nigga, we is bad. Me and my nigga, we is bad. Try to get our dick stuck. And I was just like, what the fuck? Whistle while you twerk. You're just like, yo, yo, where is yeah, Soul Shaker? Like, like, where is that, Soul Shaker? Right I feel like you're right about that. I feel Don't like worry. I remember that. There was now a whole, that you say that? They weren't, they weren't alone. They weren't alone. Yeah, so, right. so there's a fact for them. 33. Once again, like I said, every time we feel like we're making a breakthrough with this list, he brings up a rapper that might make Dev mad. And that rapper is Mon. Ten, French no. Montana. This what dude is bugging the yeah. fuck out? Okay, but if you go by lyrics, right? French Montana nah, is another that. head. Is another. Nah, he has oh, some. Don't verses. ever disrespect the bro. He has some uh, verses. No, I'm just He has some verses. <laughs> nah, Montana, 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 Montana is a good dude. But we're saying you said Mont- the last one. Montana, was like, no, you're right. You're right. Solidified, bro. Fuck he is. Yeah, I'm solidified. not listening to. Me. <laughs> not listening Who to is this person? Mr. Kindness Seven, yeah, he's not being Mr. very kind Kindness, today. My ass. So let's let's move Mr. on Kindness before Dev loses it. All right, uh, just ahead of him at number thirty-two is uh, this one we can get away with. Riff Raff, you'll take that. That's one hundred percent on the list. On the oh, yeah. list. <laughs> no, he's right. One hundred percent on the list. <laughs> the fact, sure. yo, we'll never <laughs> take away from y'all getting famous. Do what y'all got to do to make legal money. I don't However, understand how he does it. Yeah, we don't. None of us do. So, uh, <laughs> I think he's just a very good promoter of himself, which I, I, I give him props for that. That's true. Number 31. We're almost there, boys. A few more left. Number 31, G Herbo. G Herbo. Yeah. I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't like any yeah, of his music. He's not yeah. that great. I don't like yeah. any of his music, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm sorry, That's G fact, Herbo. Yeah. Number 30. Which you are, Herbo. Uh, C Murder. Which, I'm, I'm if you remember the, his world famous hit "Down for My Negroes" with Master P, yo, get um, this list out my face. See, it wasn't that bad. See, it wasn't that bad. Not wasn't that bad. On that list. Well, know. how about this young man, number twenty nine? Well, he's not young anymore. Bow Wow. Oh, you know. oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Little Bow Wow. You and, just and, don't um, know. And what's his name? What we said, we just said his name earlier. Just said my son what has my Razzle son Dazzle. Dazzle. My, my son Razzle Razzle Dazzle. 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 my son had balls. Bow Wow had a few balls, and he had hits. He made, you know, but lyrically, he was he was an era at a point. Like, yeah, that is true. He was a he had era. like he had like, but him musically, you know, fucking as a TV star, movie star, things of that nature. Like, he, he really was Mister One Hundred Six and Bob. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. But it was more because of you know girls calling in like every hour. I need to hmm. number one. All right, we're at last three, and then we'll break off till next week. Number 28, another group, uh, the, the St. Lunatics, ranked higher than their leader. So, they, this guy said the whole without group, Nelly. without Nelly, is hot coffee. Factory. <laughs> that's hilarious, though. <laughs> I'm not agreeing or disagreeing, but that's that's You, you know why I agree? Because outside of Murphy, Lee, and Nelly, Murphy can you name agree. the other people in the group? Exactly <laughs> I mean, why it's a fact. That's why it's a fact. You can't name other people yeah, in the group. Murphy Lee, that was my guy. Murphy Lee was good. Murphy Lee Nelly was good. good. After that, it was like, uh... Devin, you that ass naming all Devin's favorite rappers. Like. It's not. It's the list. It's not me. I didn't make this up. All right, let's go. <laughs> Number 27. Last two. Here we go. Number Here 27. Go, also from St. Louis. Chingy. Yeah, he can stay there, too. He can stay there, too. <laughs> Yo, but he had another couple. He, he had bangers. Like, though. lyrically, yeah, bro. He lyrically. had bangers. He had a couple <laughs> club hits. Couple. Yeah, he did. He yeah, but if you listen clubs. to his album, matter of fact, Chingy was. I'm gonna throw a crazy theory, but I have to go with this. As a theory, Ant once said, 
This was the 2000s version of Tiger, bro. He just made fire club hits. Yeah, yeah. And then you heard the album was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you just took your CD and was like, this shit off. He knew how to make girls it's play, like, bro. You turned the holiday in, you turned right there. If that, he is like, on that list, he shouldn't be down there. He should be like up in the Oh, 40s. you're saying Genie should be Oh, you're saying he should be down in the no, 40s. No, yeah, like down in the 40s. Okay. okay. Well, this next guy probably won't because it's number 26, and we'll cap it here. Nick Cannon. Mm-hmm. You probably don't remember his rap hits, that. but one that. of his biggest hits was Gigolo with R. Kelly. He should be higher. <laughs> yeah, he should, he should um, have been 50. He should be. Nah, he's good. Right? He said he should have been number 50. No, he should have been. Remember, the higher you this, go, the worse 25? you are. That's 25? That's 25? Yeah. Yeah, this was 50 to 26, so yeah, it's going to be 25 Nick, to think 1 Nick next Cannon, time. Yeah. I think Nick Cannon is a worse rapper than them, some of those people we said. He's worse than Pete Pablo. Should have been eleven or something. What are you talking about? He worse than Jones. He is. Worse. I mean, yeah, he is. He is. He is definitely worse. He's than in a, But you see, now I'm just worried for the rest of this list though. Because we got the cannon at 25. I don't know what. what at 26. 26. We're getting. We're, he, this guy's running out of country. Good <laughs> <We're worried. laughs> word. Yo, if I look at the rest of this list, yeah, it's a <laughs> mixture of like up north and down yeah. south people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really is. It really no, is. Oh, nobody so. on the west coast. Oh, oh, outside of Easy E? Wow. Yeah, you're right. I, 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 yeah, I know. We saw that. I bet you homies from LA. LA? LA? Yeah, <laughs> I bet you homies from LA. I think was the only Cali West Coast person he had. I bet you homies Let's from LA. See. Yo, click his Twitter name, bro. I need to know. <laughs> all right. For all you know, he's from like Cambodia and shit. Whoa. Also, people, Yankees just won and we clinched the division. So we go into the playoffs. And it's gonna be great. Playoffs? We going to the playoffs? Fuck? Yes, sir. Okay, this is champs, baby. Crazy Vision weird, champs. but uh, he's not from the West Coast. But Aishon was the closest. He's Asian. Told you. Cool. <laughs> Yo, from where though? Cool. He's, uh, he's where from is Boston. He? Oh, this. Oh, he's from yeah. Boston. Uh, unless I'm looking at the wrong person. Nah, he don't listen to good music. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's his Twitter? Yeah. Unless I'm looking at this wrong. Yeah, say the Twitter out there for the, for the people. <laughs> it says, Sword of the Stranger, the greatest anime movie of all time. Mm-hmm. Wait, what, what are you... That's his Twitter name. Time, I know, I'm... That's just a bot, bro. Yeah, bot. That dude's a bot. Mm-hmm. Mr. Kindness 7. Yeah, Mr. Kindness 7. Mr. Kindness 7, guys. Yeah. Go, go, go spam He that works guy. for the establishment. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this was your list, bro. We just going off of the list. You made. I don't know why we had to listen to your list. Because yeah. I don't know who you are. And then you guys wonder why <laughs> I don't be liking like... these fucking wild ass shits. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, I just wanted to go with this because. Don't worry, pull up a list one day. Just try to get your facts and make, make that. Make my own list? <laughs> no, 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 no. Of no, the find what, list. Just find the <laughs> list. Of the, yeah, that's what I was like. Oh, he did one before, remember? Which which one? He did the the one about the directors. Movies is not as good oh, as they yeah, were last yeah, time. Yeah. I mean, he could do oh, another yeah, that one. Was a good one. Right? That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. I'll post that out the bucket someplace. Yeah, he yeah, can yeah. do another one. Yeah, we're going to retire. Wow, he even has a list of the You're top. You're retired already. <laughs> for a little bit. For a little bit. He got a list of the top white rappers all time and Drake's from the five. Oh, we're not doing that list. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. We're definitely not doing that list, but yo. <laughs> wait, wait, no. Okay, I'll, we won't do the list, but I'll spoil it by saying number 10 was Eminem and number one was Benzino. Yeah. So I don't know, this guy, he has to be a trope. Yeah. He has to be a trope. Yeah, he has to be a trope. Because yeah, yeah, trope. Trope. Yeah. this is, that's, I'm I'm shocked by this. I told you, don't let me read that guy's list. I don't want to we got to We got to finish it. We have to. We don't wanna, if you don't want to finish it tonight, I'm not against that. However, we, we have to, bro. No. The crowd. No, no, we don't have to do that. We don't have to. Fuck, fuck that. No, we're gonna fuck, finish. Fuck, fuck that guy. Wow. Fuck that guy. Yeah, we're gonna fuck. we're gonna finish the list next time. So just for the stakes of we have. I don't yeah, care for Mr. Kindness's you know, list. Nah, he, he's trash. It's trash. I don't care for it's trash. It's trash. It's trash. Honestly, I'm being honest. You know. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know what music you listen to. Papa Roach or something over there. Like, <laughs> Papa into features. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to rap, rap, trying to listen, trying to figure out rap music. Folks, I'm confused. Or this, you just don't like country people. Yeah. I don't know. What is it? This this was a crazy list. Yeah. And Horrible. it was one that I want to talk about. We've, we've always touched actual websites where other companies or whatever talk about anime movies or films or anime. But this was semi-controversial because uh, according to the, the comments, only four people wrote about it. So it's not a <laughs> What the fuck, Marvin? It was on an article. 
It was on Double XL magazine. Yo, you're retired, bro. You're retired. <laughs> All right. Yeah, how you, how you put the article, do reviews, and say four people's good enough for them? Because it was on Double XL, bro. That's hip hop, right? 101, bro. Double XL Mag? It's a legendary hip hop, bro. Come on. Anyway. We are going to cap it here, folks. This is the reaction I wanted from these gentlemen. So my mission is accomplished, whether they retire me or not. But yeah. tune in next week when we finish the list and we talk about other great <laughs> things. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm Listen next. to that, man, if you want to. The first and eighth thing you drop on that list. What? What? Yo, Marvin. Come on, man. Come on back. So anyway, <laughs> catch us next week. Uh, <laughs> so... Like we were saying earlier, we have big news regarding um, Buddha Beer Bar as well as uh, us. And that is that Buddha Beer Bar liked Nerds in the Heights 1. They loved Nerds in the Heights 2. So much so that Nerds in the Heights, there won't be a third one because there's going to be multiple ones. So we don't have, we could still do three, four, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's just going to be uh, going forward in the immediate future. This is going to be a thing now. This is recurring. We are at Buddha Beer Bar every Wednesday night starting October 5th with our comedy show that we were supposed to do last month. But we're bringing it back and starting it up again in October. So we will be there every week, every first and third Wednesday of the month. For now, we're going to do comedy shows every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. We will do our trivia. Uh, it's always subject to change. So make sure you follow us at Nerds in the Hood. Excuse me, follow us at Nerds in the Hood on social media, N-E-R-D-Z-I-N-T-H-E-H-O-O-D. Make sure you follow us to, to keep yourself uh, in the new, in the nose, in the news, in the nose, in the news of now. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so that way you know what's going on, just in case we do change the events up, we do change the schedule, so that way you come there one day and you're like, yo, you guys told me it was this and now it's this. So just make sure you follow us. Check us out for more than just the clips, more than just the anime rap intros, but also to keep your uh, ears peeled to what we're doing at Buddha Beer Bar in the coming future. But October 5th, we're there going on weekly every single Wednesday. Thank you to the Buddha Beer Bar in New York City. Make sure you go there even when we're not there because they do good things outside of just Nerds in the Hood. They have great drinks, great food, and they're fun. It's just a fun place to be at, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you check that out, and uh, we will once again catch you next week. And guys, any last words? No, not really. All right, shout out Hope to Hope to see you there. Shout out to the Yankees, AL East Division champions. Yeah, boy. You did it. Fact. So we're good on that. And we're. I should have worn my Yankee hat. You should have. You fake. Mm -hmm. You got a polo hat on. I mean, you're crazy. What does that mean? I'm not <laughs> you that. I my Yankee hat. But I thought you like like Miami or some shit. I Who the you... fuck said that? <laughs> when the, when I the fuck? You was, oh, no, my fault. I thought you was a Mets fan. My bad. Never that. You're a Panthers fan. Right. I'm a Panthers fan. He's also a Panthers fan. He's <laughs> a Panther fan that wears Giants uh, apparel. I don't have any more Giants apparel. It has, it has been <laughs> So if I go into your closet? There's no I'm more. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. All right. So with that being said, Damn. like I said, we will catch you next week. Yeah. Make sure you follow us and make sure you listen to us. Uh, watch us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Watch us as well and listen to our podcast on the go at Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, <laughs> at Overcast, and CastBox. As well as the Manga Man and Podcast, Castbox. which will have another new episode this week. Courtesy of your boy, Marv Black. You boy Bob Black. Hey son, signing out. And McGee. Yeah, and we are out of here, people. We're tired. We're, we're going to sleep. Peace. It's, we are tired. <laughs> <laughs>